What's up everybody, it's John. Today, we're gonna learn how to print a 90 centimeter by 30 centimeter panoramic print. Let's get started. This is a six by four print, being six inches on the width and then four inches on the height. Now, this is how traditional prints are always done. We go to the shop, we get this printed. It is known as the 4R photograph. And photos printed over here was taken with a mirrorless camera and also a digital SLR camera, which inherits the fundamental full frame 35 millimeter or rather film that was produced back in the days when film camera were popular. The digital SRs and also the mirrorless were based on that ratio, which is three by two. So what exactly are panorama prints? And according to Wikipedia, panorama prints are at least two by one in ratio, at least. Even if I were to fit a picture which is two by one or three by one in this sense, it's still a panorama print, albeit it's in a 6x4 paper like that. But what fun it is, because it's such a tiny print over here, you can't see jack shit. Or I could be printing a panorama print on an A3 paper like this, but again, it's not that big, in it? And also, such waste on the use of a paper. So today, I'm going to show you how we can print a panorama print with the Canon Pixma Pro 200 using custom size paper available for the printer. Let's get started. I've got this roll of glossy photo paper off Shopee while researching for this video. Now I wish I can share with you the link when I purchased them but the seller is no longer on Shopee anymore. It is a high gloss 260 gram with 30 centimeter in height. I then measure 90 centimeter and slice the paper to size and that's how I prep the paper for the print. I have with me here the Canon Pixma Pro 200. Now, if you have been watching my video, you know that this is an A3 Plus size printer. It prints up to a 30 centimeter wide um, on the width of a paper. What it can also do is allow me to customize to fit in paper up to 99 centimeter long which means I can print panorama photo with this particular printer. And I have with me a panoramic photograph that I've taken a year ago of a KL City. Now, if you haven't seen how I produced this photo, click on this link over here. Let's dive in, shall we? This is a professional print and layout tool that comes as a free download with Canon Pixma Pro 200. Now, to print a panorama print, I have to add a custom paper size to the print software. The printer can input is 330cm and I can put up to 99cm in height. I then key in the size of the paper that I had, which is 30cm by 90cm and select OK. That will increase the print canvas size on screen to exactly what I wanted. I then selected the photograph and dragged into the software. Resize and crop out the unwanted part of the print as desired, and I'm ready to print. Now you saw me cutting out a piece of photo paper which is 90 centimeter on the width and 30 centimeter on the height. Where 30 centimeter fits an A3 size printer like the Canon Pixma Pro 200. So let me just pull up all the supporting panels while I navigate this and. <laughs> try to load the paper onto the printer. So I'm just gonna put it here. Gravity is pulling the paper down, so I've just gotta load this paper right there. There you go. And I've prepared the file. I'm gonna send this over for print. And hopefully everything will be okay. So let's see how the paper loads. It is a little bit tougher if you were to do this like the very first time but the more you do this, you get the hang of how to actually mount the paper to the printer um, and get it working uh, straight away. I'm still hunting for more papers that I can print on on AliExpress or here, oh there you go, it's gonna be starting. So I'm also looking for cotton based paper for panoramic prints like this. Um, and I'm looking around from AliExpress to Shopee and having not much of a luck. So guys, if you know of where to get roll papers like this for A3 size or rather 30 centimeter um, on the height, let me know. I would love it. Comment below. So it begins printing. Let me show you more about the printing. Oops. 
here's the print. This is a panorama photograph of KL City. It is a very good representation of what I shot that day because it was rather in the evening and the light wasn't fantastic. Uh, it was a good representation of what happened that day. Just about last year when the MCO was lifted, I photographed this picture. And what it is, is basically portraits of KL one by one and then later on put into Lightroom, stitched together and voila, one long panorama photo. And what I'm looking over here is there's a lot of detail that's available in the camera that I shoot with the EOS R and uh, the 7200. Now, again, if you haven't watched that video, you can click right there. And I can see all the details here, like the small little words that highlights the building, like Sheraton over here to like uh, KWSB, DBKL. It is all here, all the major buildings of KL is readable and it's uh, very, very clear. <laughs> Even the KLCC tower, the antenna that's there, I can also see the nip of the antenna at the top. So it is very detailed and it looks pretty awesome. It's just that I wish that the day wasn't that overcast and had a little bit more color. Perhaps maybe it's time when the MCO is lifted, I can go there, revisit this particular picture and make this one again. Well, there's something nice about panorama pictures like this. It is definitely one of a kind. You can't purchase this off the shelf anywhere except here. If you do like this particular photo, do head over to my afterwalk.co channel and order one and I'll ship it off to you guys. Um, yeah, I hope today you learned something about panoramic prints like this using the Canon Pixma Pro 200. If you have any questions at all, comment below at the bottom. Let me know. Tell me what you guys think about this print. And that's all for me, this episode of Afterwalk Gear Review. Thank you for watching. If you do want to support the channel, these are the various links that you can support the channel. And otherwise, just click on the like button on the YouTube. Or if you're new to the channel, do subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.